Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy, what is today? Happy Wednesday. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I see new faces. Let me know who you are. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Won't he do it Wednesday? Hey, heartbeat Yvette, I love it. Won't he do it Wednesday? Hey, heartbeat Queen O. Hey, heartbeat Juanita. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Again, good morning and welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I see two new faces um, up there. So good morning to you and thanks for tuning in. Hey, Heartbeat Eva, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Elaine and Heartbeat Donald, good morning. How are you today? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you guys. Happy Wednesday. Won't he do it Wednesday? As Heartbeat Yvette said, won't he do it Wednesday? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Good morning, good morning. Let a few more people jump on here and then we'll get right into it. Good morning. Hope you guys had uh, some sweet, got sweet sleep last night and that you woke up with bells and whistles on to this amazing day that the Lord has made. Hey, Heartbeat Andrea, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Harvey Linda, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Worship all day Wednesday. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Hey, Gayla. Good morning, Gayla. Harvey Gayla. Hey, good morning. Okay, so now I'll know that profile picture when it pops up. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Alicia. Hey, you guys, would you join me and help me wish my cousin a happy belated birthday? Happy belated birthday. Happy belated born day, Heartbeat Lish. Hey, Heartbeat Anita. Well, let's get into it. Good morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts this morning. And your daily dosage this morning is I won't turn back. I won't turn back. You know, when we um, are going on this life that we're living in, turning away, turning back always does what? It causes crashes. You notice that when we drive, we put the car in drive, which means we go forward. If we look back, we crash. You remember when Lot's wife looked back, she turned into a pillar of salt. And so God is saying on this morning that he wants us to move forward in him. Sometimes we um, concentrate too much on the past. You know, when we go back in the past, what we re we're reminded of um, past failures. We're reminded of past hurts. And God does not want us to do that anymore. He wants us to push forward, move forward in the things of life. You know, the past doesn't have anything new to say. All it does is remind you of all negative things. And so we want to concentrate this year on moving forward. You know, there's a cliche that the only time you should look back is when you want to look back to see how far you come? Well, I beg to differ because sometimes when we look back to see how far we've come, some of us can get the big head and we think that we've made it. And what does that do? It slows us down. And so this year we want to do something different. We want to move forward in God. If you think about it, God is always progressing. God is always moving forward. And if we are going to um, get to this year of transition and reposition, we have got to learn how to move forward. Forward. Philippians 3.13, the Passion Translation says it like this. I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish this. However, I do have one compelling focus. I forget all of the past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. I run straight for the divine invitation of reaching the heavenly goal and gaining the victory prize through the anointing of Jesus Christ. In other words, I'm moving towards the mark um, for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. I'm now moving forward in all of the things of God. See, when I begin to move forward, I can now see that thing that God has already prearranged 
arranged, that he's already pre-planned for me. So, you know, all of this year, the beginning of the year, we've been talking about prayer. We've been talking about fasting and we've been talking about transitioning through so that I can be repositioned up. And the only way that I'm ever going to get to that is I've got to learn how to move forward. I've got to stop revisiting the past, beating myself up, you know, keep rehearsing um, past failures. Think about this with rehearsing past failures. All of us some, somewhere in our lives, we've been in a play, we've been in a choir. And what happens when we have to keep rehearsing the same thing? We will get agitated if somebody didn't know their part. We will get agitated if we were in the choir and the soprano section kept having to go over the same thing. Why? Because everybody wants to move forward so that they can get to the end goal. And so whenever you keep rehearsing the past, you're that person that's causing everything to pause. You're that person that's causing everything to halt because you have to keep rehearsing the same thing. Well, God is saying, I think you've got that lesson already. I think you've realized that that was painful. I think you realized that that kept you stagnated. It's now time to move forward in the things of God. It's now time to see what God has already prearranged and, pre and pre-planned for you. It's now time for you to mature. It's time to grow up, uh, Heartbeat Nation. See, when we stay stuck in the past, it's like us being a little kid that you can't have your way. You're being spoiled. You want to stay and be, um, continue to be the victim. God is saying, no, I called you to be the victor. I called you to be an overcomer. Did it hurt? Yes. Did it keep you stagnated for a while? Yes. Did it stay on your mind? Yes. He said, but I'm trying to take you to a new place. I'm trying to move you forward and you want to stay in park. You want to stay in reverse. He says, but I'm trying to move you forward. And so you've got to make up your mind on this day that I'm no longer going back. I'm no longer going to rehearse that pain anymore. I'm no longer going to stay stuck in the past for God is giving me a new day every day. Every day he gives us brand new grace. Every day he gives us brand new mercy. Why? That you may move forward in the things of God. Remember this. Nothing's going on back there in the past but the same old, same old. It's not changing. It's history. We want to move forward so that we can progress in all of the things of God. God is saying that this is the year of transition and reposition and that this is the year that you will progress like never before. Remember, we've been talking about unlimited progression and so you've got to change the way that you think. You've got to switch your brain that no longer am I going to stay in the past. No longer am I going to keep reciting it. No longer am I going to keep talking about it. But I'm going to move forward in the things of God because, see, the blessing is ahead of you. Remember, God has always said, don't be afraid because I've gone ahead of you. I've gone forward. And so you've got to catch up with God. God is never operating in the past. God is always moving forward. God is always ahead of you. He's always preparing you for the best. He's already always preparing you for what's yet to come. So you've got to know this, Heartbeat Nation, that the best is yet to come. But you'll never reach the best if you continue to rehearse the past. You'll never see what God has in store for you if you decide to stay stagnated where you are. If you decide to stay and continue to look back. And so you've got to begin to say in your mind, I won't turn back. I won't look back. Because all turning back does, all looking back does, it keeps you stagnated. It brings up the pain. It's like you taking a band-aid or you know how the... Um, you have to snatch a band-aid off and it hurts. That's what looking back does. You keep opening up wounds, pouring salt on it. And so I am telling you today, make a commitment today. Don't look back. Don't turn back. There's nothing good in the past. All it does is remind you of what you didn't do, what you could have done, what you should have done. God is saying, I'm moving forward in all the things in your life. 
Move forward with me. Amen. That is your daily dosage for today. I won't look back. I won't turn back. I won't revisit the past. Amen. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so. There you can find all of your dosages in one place. Also, follow me on social media platforms. God Wants Me Whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. Come on, you know how we do this thing. Say, God Wants Me Whole. And I am getting whole by the minute. Again, Again, I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. I'll be right back here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Go out there and have a spec while amazing day. And don't you look back. Look forward in all the things of God. There are some great, good, grand things ahead of you. Get to walking. Get to running. Make sure it's walking and running forward. I love you guys a bunch. And I'll see you in the morning.